Hello, I'm Reynolds Monick from Wagner Associates. And today I'm talking about the intelligent maritime planning and execution services that we've developed under this SBIR project. Um, IMPS is designed to do two key things. Accurately estimate the location of targets at current and future times, and then to plan search operations or other missions um, using a multi-objective approach that optimizes uh, mission effectiveness. Um, the example here is looking at the target location piece of that, where we have an initial estimate of target location, which was a Gaussian ellipse, where the darker cells are, have a higher likelihood of containing the target. Um, we then add in negative information where we have a searcher. Um, they basically cut out a piece of that and reported that it did not find the target. And using that negative information, we then get this posterior estimate for target location, which can then be used to plan a search, um, looking at you know, the higher density areas, um, and also looking at how the target moves over time. So that, you know, it may initially be located there, but based on whatever target motion model you're using, you know, that will change and the system accurately tracks, you know, how that changes over time. Wagner Associates has been designing and developing innovative so algorithms and software for DOD clients, in particular the Navy, for over 58 years. Um, applying sophisticated mathematical techniques to solve challenging and difficult Navy problems. Um, this has been in two primary areas, mission planning and threat mitigation and tracking and data fusion. IMPS sort of looks at both of these. Um, so in the mission planning realm, we've transitioned to the Undersea Warfare Decision Support System, USWDSS, for both planning and data fusion um, and went through OPAVAL in 2013. Um, the MH-60 Romeo ASW helicopter uses our acoustic mission planner, um, went through initial OPAVAL in 2005, and we just did a big upgrade to allow for multi-helicopter planning. We've also worked with mine warfare heavily, um, we developed and transitioned a submarine route planner to minimize mine risk to friendly subs and a mine net tactical module for data fusion and search effectiveness evaluation and optimization that's used by the Navy for all of its mine warfare planning. In terms of tracking and fusion, we've also done a lot of work with swarms and individual unmanned surface vehicles. Um, starting in 2014. In particular, we've worked with ONR on swarm demonstrations, basically distributed data fusion across however many USVs you have so that everyone has a common operating picture and can then do cooperative autonomy. We also developed for the SQQ-89, a torpedo defense data fusion system that went through the ACB process in 2013. Um, key personnel on many of these projects was myself, and I have extensive experience in designing, developing, evaluating, target localization, and mission planning and search optimization algorithms. In this project, uh, the main challenge is to automatically estimate target location as accurately as possible and to make optimal joint use of scarce undersea warfare, surface warfare, and air warfare assets. IMPS automatically utilizes all available positive, negative, and target tactics information when estimating target location, and then uses multi-objective optimization algorithms to jointly optimize the use of USW, SUW, and AW assets. One potential initial transition is into the Maritime Tactical Command and Control, MTT2 system, but you know, there, this could go into any Navy command and control system. And we certainly will hope to talk to anyone who, who is interested in, in such a transition. Um, also, as I mentioned before, um, we've done a lot of work with unmanned vehicles and 
this could go into a controller and planner for swarms of unmanned vehicles. Um, this is a particularly difficult problem um, since we're in complex operating environments that often have multiple targets and multiple sensor types. And so it's important that the algorithms be accurate and that the sensors themselves be modeled accurately, um, both of which are Wagner specialties. Um, the operational need and improvement in this case, um, as in many cases, is driven by modernizing near peer militaries, which pose significant challenges to friendly missions. Um, in particular, um, an advanced imps would be very useful in MTC2 because it can automatically estimate target location as accurately as possible and then recommend optimized joint plans for utilizing scarce friendly surveillance and strike assets, which is a high priority given the increased capabilities and numbers of near-peer militaries. Um, some other programs that could benefit are Integrated Undersea Surveillance System, USWDSS, PEO sub and the SQQ-9. But as I said before, you know, this approach is really applicable to any command and control system that's dealing with a complex target environment and needs both to accurately locate targets and determine how to allocate assets either to search for them or to attack them. Um, here's the same picture that I showed at the beginning. Um, Again, to emphasize that the key piece of this is to auto first automatically tar estimate target location using positive, negative, and motion data. And then to take that picture, which as you can tell, just visually gives you a, a much better estimate of target location than if we did not include the negative information, um, which then allows you to allocate search. So if you had you know, another a similar sensor, um, you know, it's, it's obvious from looking at the picture where you would want to put it on top of that, you know, high, high density area that's left after we did our first search. Um, but our algorithms will actually, you know, optimize that based on, you know, the, the swath and probability detection of the sensor. In this case, um, we used what's called a cookie cutter sensor, so we just basically have probability one out to a certain distance. Um, but in general, you can make the probability detection a function of the current closest point of approach of the target to the sensor, and you can put in, you know, whatever your best estimate of probability of detection and correct classification is. And in particular, when you're doing um, anti-submarine warfare, or service warfare with acoustic sensors, you know, that's a critical part of what we do is to bring in the best available Navy models for acoustic and calculate the probability of detection as, as accurately as possible. The current status of IMPS is that we're developing a concept of employment, algorithms for automatically generating accurate estimates of target location using all available data, um, algorithms for automatically recommended more efficient and effective use of limited surveillance and strike assets and operationally relevant scenarios. Moving forward, we'll have a full prototype demonstration this year and external evaluation and then integration, hopefully into MTC2 or other Navy command and control and combat systems. Some of the key features, advantages, and benefits of IMPS are that it automatically generates accurate estimates of target location using all available data, thereby increasing the effectiveness of U.S. Navy, undersea warfare, surface warfare, and air warfare operations. In addition, IMPS automatically recommends more efficient and effective use of limited surveillance and strike assets, resulting in higher probability of detecting threat platforms and reduced friendly unit vulnerability. In addition, it automatically generates accurate target location estimates and op optimized recommended plans, thereby reducing USW, SUW, and AW planner operator time on task. As I discussed previously, we expect the first transition opportunity will be to MTC2 since it is looking at the entire picture 
ASW, SUW, and AW. Um, but the technology is applicable to basically any command and control system or even any combat system that is looking at tracking specific targets. Um, our current sponsor is ONR, so PMW 150 would need to sponsor the transition into MTC2. Some additional transition paths are integrated undersea surveillance system, USWDSS, PEO sub, or the SQ289. Um, but there are also many other systems, um, such as NAVAIR's next generation mission planning system to which this technology could apply. And, you know, essentially any, um, you know, command and control system um, could benefit from the sort of high level capabilities and any combat system could benefit from the lower level target tracking capabilities. We'd like to hear from anyone who has, you know, potential uses for IMPs. Um, we'd be happy to go over further technical details and integration requirements. It was developed to make it as easy to integrate as possible. And we've integrated similar systems into multiple programs of record. Um, point of contact would be myself. Um, you can contact me by phone, by cell, or by um, my office number. And we definitely would hope to hear from anyone who has a problem that IMPs you know, might apply to and you know, give good results um, quickly since we already have a good amount of software developed and integratable into you know, whatever your system needs. Thank you, bye.